What's up, everybody? It's your favorite show, favorite show, Get a Bucket. I'm your host, Train as usual. Hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. And as you can see on the screen, we got my guy, Nick. Nick, how's everything been with you, man? Man, everything's been wonderful. It's been an up and down season, so I'm excited to get to talk about it. <laughs> it's definitely been an up and down season. Listen, brother, I wore a little gold. All this called Get a Bucket, so you know we got Lakers here. But I wore a little gold just because your team – it is it, 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 the Steelers, so I try to give you a little support. But if y'all know though, I'm a Panthers fan, so we'll we be talking. We will be talking about my boys a little bit, just a little bit. But Nick, before we get into football, mm -hmm. uh, what's your plans for Thanksgiving? Great question. Um, you know, I come from a very traditional Jamaican family, so we're big on family and. Uh, you know, every year since I was a little kid, we go to my cousin's house um, and we have a big gathering. Traditional Jamaican food, traditional American food. So, honestly. What's the traditional Jamaican food out of curiosity? Uh, we do rice and peas, um, some oxtail with, on Thanksgiving. Yeah. We go in, you know. I might, um, I'm, I, might need to, I might need to hit up your house there for Thanksgiving. That's what I heard. Say oxtails. That brother said oxtails. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all haven't had oxtails? Boy, whoo, them things be slapping. Oh, my God. Yeah. My guy's yeah. My guy's slide, baby. That's how you invite yourself, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Let know that. So, thank you for not saying no on camera. Thank you for saying no. Thank you for not saying no on camera. But What's your, uh, what's your, uh, what's your Thanksgiving plan? It sounds like you're looking for some. No, nah, so, I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to two houses right now. I'm, I'm fat, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen. Don't don't let the don't let the slender frame fool you. Okay, I, I'm I'm greedy, um, so I, I I like to play. I like to take a place of hostage. That's why I call it after Thanksgiving. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going up to my aunt's house, uh, family friend's house. Um, you know, up in the area, so all the family's gonna be up there. So having a good time. Uh, so I'm I'm in charge of bringing desserts for one of the families, so that'll be interesting. They did they did hit me. Where I, I'm good at though, I'm good with desserts, so I know how to pick them out. But uh, if you want to be making from scratch, that could be a little interesting. But no, nah, it should be a good time. That should be a good time. Shout out to these stores about to buy these desserts. <laughs> hey yo, I, I suggest Wegmans, my man. That's just, that's the go-to spot. Wegmans be slapping. Costco. But here's another one too though that people be sleeping on. Safeway. That's right. I said it. Safeway. Has some good desserts too now, but now Wegmans, you are absolutely right, Nick. They 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 got some desserts for that. Woo! What's your favorite dessert out of curiosity? Yeah, after this, I promise y'all, ladies and gentlemen, we will talk about the NFL teams. I promise y'all. Damn, that's a good question. I mean, it's gonna sound basic, but it's just since I was a kid, it's something that's always been like refreshing and like I don't ever feel like too like overstuffed, you know. Yeah. So like ice cream, you know, it's like my that's like my like guilty shit you know what i mean like i love yeah. piece of ice cream. fun fact i've never heard ice cream as someone's favorite dessert like like you never hear that that's interesting actually see i'm i'm, I'm gonna say I, I gotta i gotta tie i gotta tie between sweet potato pie and 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 banana pudding all right like those are my two like i can always eat those it don't matter i can even i can even combine them so I mean, those are my favorite wow. two. I've never heard ice cream though. That's that that's crazy. That's crazy. So and not crazy in a bad way. That's crazy. And like I, I, it's the simple things, bro. Like it's the simple things in life that take you far. So I mean, I'm not mad at that answer at all. Yeah. That's, such that's such a good one. All right. Well, I mean, ice cream, banana pudding, sweet potato pie, Thanksgiving meals. I'm hungry now. Hey, maybe we should cancel. <laughs> maybe we should cancel this episode and, and come back later on. I'm a little famished now. I'm a little famished. Dang on it. I did tell the people that we were going to talk about football, so I got to stay true to my word. I got to stay true to my word. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to try to share the screen here. What we're going to do is talk about here all NFL teams, but the division. So we won't talk about all 30 directly. Like we will be covering a couple. We will be covering them. So, um, Nick, we talked about a, we talked about a couple of the teams last 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 time you was on, and uh, let's go ahead and start it off with with. With the AFC, actually, uh, the AFC East specifically, we got the Dolphins, Bills, Jets, and Patriots. Who's your uh, winner for this division? Right now, I'm gonna have to go Dolphins. Um, they're just playing at such a high clip offensively. Okay, okay. I'm okay. seeing Bradley Chubb start to come into his own too. 
get used to the system. And, you know, we, we forget about Bradley Chubb, but he was one of the, and it is one of the best pass rushers in the NFL. Um, so watching him kind of mature um, whilst watching Mike McDaniel's offense just dominate the league by storm is, is, is truly wonderful. I think the thing that's lost in this explosive pass game with Tua, that both their running backs are averaging, I think, five and a half, six. Pretty sure Devon A. Chain, who's back, by the way, is averaging 10 yards a carry. So look out for that. And I mean, with, explosive. What mm-hmm. do you say, though, to the team? to the people who say they don't beat quality teams. Because, again, I, I think when we first started out, I definitely said, like, this This was the toughest division when we first spoke on this, right? Um, or, yeah. or, and so I wanted to say I, – I, I can't remember who I went with defensively because also Aaron Rodgers was still at the helm at the time, so this division was a little different. But the Dolphins don't beat those top-tier teams this season, at least have not. Does that give you any – concern or or you still you you rocking with the Dolphins still because it sounds like they could falter a little bit um I think when we're talking about the strength of schedule in this division Mm -hmm. um I would I would I would I would point to the quality of wins from other people in the division you know we could talk on the Dolphins for a while but when you talk about the AFC East specifically that's the conversation and right now you're dealing with teams that are also losing very low quality wins like the bills dropping against the Broncos and the jets. You know, I mean, you have the Patriots who this looks like Bill Belichick's last year coaching for the Patriots, you know, whether it goes to another team or decides to hang it up. He just looks, he just looks like he's going through the motions on the sideline at this point. And then the jets have to put everything on the back of Zach Wilson and I still don't know if he's up to the to meet the challenge. So, I mean, it's it's the Bills, it's the Dolphins' uh, division to lose right now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that I, that's more my thought. Okay. Now, I I I think we both kind of agree it's the Dolphins to lose, especially talent wise. But yeah, now that that's gonna be good. But overall, I think this AFC is, is pretty solid as a whole, bro. So I mean, I I ain't, I ain't gonna hold y'all, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, we just covered the whole AFC, so I hope y'all liked it. Please like, subscribe, comment, tell anyone who's anyone about the show. Nick, before we go, uh, you got anything you want to say for, uh, to the folks? Um, you know, support my bro. He's putting out great content every week. So like and subscribe, like he said. Um, and yeah, I mean, thank you so much for having me. Um, I'm excited to see what this season unfolds because I think a good football season is a season where any given Sunday is a true statement. Um, and we're seeing an any given Sunday kind of season, which I, I really like. It's good for football to have competitive teams, regardless of record division, roster health, you know, um, it really I mean, makes betting a lot more. Yeah. Well, I don't know if entertaining is the right word for that. Actually, now that I think about it. No, more like more like uh, anxiety inducing, but yeah, you know, it adds anxiety to my. I swear to you, bro, because even in basketball, it's becoming more like an any game sort of league now. You know what I'm saying? Like any team can beat you. Like like the talent level is there. It's just more so about the execution and production now. So I mean, that's what the NFL is like, and I appreciate I've I've, I've appreciated the NFL for a while for that reason because any team can win on any given Sunday. So I mean, and I think that's what the NBA is trying to actually create in their league because for a while you kind of knew which teams were going to win so you still might be able to but now it's, it's harder to, to tell because hey this team is actually tough to beat so can this team really beat them it's I mean, that's why I, I, I viewed that for the nfl for a while so i've always appreciated that about the nfl man definitely definitely yeah. but yeah. ladies and gentlemen y'all will definitely see nick again uh probably probably soon too you know i'll, I'll have a, i'll probably have another video to talk about because Super Bowl not gonna be is not is gonna happen not too long from now. So you know we should bring I right, we'll we'll have we'll have you and a couple other boys on the show for certain for certain. But like I said ladies and gentlemen hope you all have enjoyed it. I hope you all are having a good one. Hope you all enjoyed the show and uh, most importantly take care. <laughs>
as, as as you can see, we're at the back end of the show. No pun intended, but look, hope you all enjoyed it. And before you go, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow the IG account, share the content to anybody who's anybody. And most importantly, leave your thoughts and comments below. But I gotta go back and play Buddy in 2K, so let me unmute him real quick. Excuse me. Hey boss, I'm back. Nah, you better catch this word. You know we get buckets around here. <laughs>